Let's watch the matches between Johnny Johnny and Tommy Kanda in the final of the GP365 and Friends vs. Volleyers tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So finally it's here, the video of the final matches between Johnny Johnny. One of the best, if not the best, Heisa big forehand player in Tennis Clash and Tommy Kanda. Again, one of the best, if not the best, counter puncher in this game. This is an epic battle between two of the best players in their styles. And as usual, I would say Tommy Kanda is taking the lead. I would say that it's usual only because uh, that's very often to see a base liner, especially a good counter puncher like Tommy Kanda to take the lead when he uses Sibian wire versus Heiser big forehand players in this game. But slowly, and I would say as usual too, the Heiser big forehand players. We have the advantage by the end that we catch up because they have weirdly <laughs> more stamina. Of course, they don't have a lot of stamina when they use a high sub big forehand, but the base liner doesn't have a good stamina level at all by the second part of the match because the Siren Wire is a forehand counter string. Which has long catch, critical forehand counter, which is good, but this string doesn't have stamina shield, and that's quite a big trouble for all counter punches by the end of the matches. And versus very skilled high sub big forehand players like Johnny Johnny, well, there is almost no possibility to come back. And yes, Johnny Johnny took advantage of the lack of stamina of Tommy Kanda here to hit some nice Costco shots, some good serves followed by big forehand shots. And Johnny Johnny took the first point in this final. So Johnny Johnny was using a build giving him decent agility. 51 of agility is not bad. The serve is uh, quite good. 64 is not huge, but this is enough. Versus the 65 agility of Florence. And of course, the forehand is devastating. To obtain the stats, well, Johnny Johnny was using the Bullseye Cobra, the Hades Threats, to have agility. The Charlie Roger to have a decent serve. Cabo Load and lunges to increase the forehand and serve stats. As for Tommy Kanda, he was using the classic lineup for challenger tournaments, meaning the hammer, the forge, the hide threats, the koi, the keto sourcing and the resistance ban. So of course, this is a capping nine. Well, that was a very, very nice drop shot from Johnny Johnny. He loves this kind of drop. Yeah, so I was saying that the uh, challenger tournaments are play at uh, level 9 capping. And the whole tournament of GP3 Strive and Friends vs. VN Volleyers was played with the same level 9 capping. So every lineups that you use in challenger tournaments and that works can be used in this tournament. This only. Uh, difference with Tennis Clash Challenger Tournaments I would say is the, the impossibility to use special strings in this tournament. You can only use regular strings. Siberian Wire and Punisher Gut being considered regular strings. So you can't use Hubble Cord, Basti String etc. And fortunately because otherwise that would be very tricky for Johnny Johnny to do something versus uh, quality of shots of uh, Tommy Kanda. 
if Tommy Kanda was allowed to use Habu Court. Once again, Johnny Choni has the last word and he's leading 2 0. Now has started the third match, and well, you will see the first points of this third match, but unfortunately, Johnny Choni was having a technical problem while recording this match so his file was kind of corrupted he had a problem of uh, memory yeah he was lacking storage space in his phone and so the match will be recorded only for the first few points and then you will see directly the beginning of the fourth match this is a bit too bad of course because the battle is of course very enjoyable to watch between those two top players yep that's it I'm going to make a pause here and it was the last second that uh, Johnny Chori recorded so we are going to see now the beginning of the fourth match. Johnny Johnny won that third match to leading 3-0. Now Johnny Johnny only needs one more point to win the final. This is the fourth match. Will Tommy Kanda succeed in coming back to get his first point in this final? You can see the very nice quality of shots of Johnny Johnny his shots are very accurate he has very nice ability to uh, do very accurate re-swipes and just when I am saying that he's hitting two unforced errors in a row and that's quite rare from him the serves are pretty strong He loves to hit those very nasty soft cross court shots that are not so soft actually because they are hit with a good forehand stat. Pretty nasty for Florence, especially when she's not having enough stamina. Tommy Kanda is leading very easily in that fourth match while saving stamina mainly because Johnny Johnny hit two and four zeros in a row by the uh, beginning of this match but slowly Johnny Johnny is trying to come back That may not be enough to come back in this match. And Johnny Johnny felt it. He kind of gave up trying to come back in this match. Tommy Kanda won his first point in this final. And the overall score is now 3 1 for Johnny Johnny. Let's see the fifth match now. same build for all matches if Johnny Johnny wins that one he will win the tournament very nice anticipation from Johnny Johnny that was not enough that could have worked if this Florence had uh, less stamina but at the beginning of the match, it's always hard to outflank Florence when she still has a lot of stamina. But this kind of huge forehand shots force Tommy Kanda to deplete his Florence stamina a lot when his Florence needs to 
return very strong shots. She will then reduce her stamina faster, especially when she needs to do some long catches. But yeah, as you can see at the beginning of the match, there's no big trouble for Tommy Kana at all. He can manage to lead and to stay in the match. And once again, he's leading. But then, that's it. Johnny Johnny will make Florence run and lose stamina. That was a very, very nice anticipation from Johnny Johnny. What an experienced player, really. Even Tommy Kanda is not enough to keep him from torturing Florence. Fantastic anticipation again from Johnny Johnny who is coming back. Now it will be very very hard for Florence who has almost no more stamina who is crawling and on that ultimate attack Johnny Johnny wins the tournament very nice final from Johnny Johnny Tommy Kanda couldn't do anything without special strings to counter the very good quality of gameplay proposed by Johnny Johnny in this final so you discover now the lineups used by Johnny Johnny first and then by Tommy Kanda in all of the matches of this final well I hope you enjoy watching this late final video between Johnny Johnny and Tommy Kanda in the GP365 and Friends vs VN Volleyers tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. I would like to thank all VN Volleyers members and all GP365 and Friends members for the very good quality of gameplay that they show during the whole tournament. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon in Gameplay365. Bye bye.